Hey, what is up guys, and welcome to Star Citizen. I'm not exactly sure why my room is so messy, but I do know one thing. This toilet paper here is not going to pay for itself. So we, my friends, are going to have to do a couple missions. And I think I saw something earlier that might be right up our alley. A little bit of private investigating. Thank you for getting in touch with me. My husband recently died aboard the Gundo Kovalex station, but the company is refusing to pay out his insurance claim because they say he was at fault. It's ridiculous. There is no way that's true. I know my husband. Darnell had his problems, but that is all in the past. I want you to go to the Kovalex station and send me evidence that my husband is innocent. But even if you find out that he isn't, you'll still get paid. I know your time is valuable, and really, I just want to know the truth. I attached the insurance claim to get you started. Good luck. And I hope to hear from you soon, one way or another. Alright, sounds like a plan to me. Let's get going. By the way, we are on the space station, Port Alazar. Which is right outside the nearby planet. But I'll just head down here really quick so we can grab our ship and then we'll head on over to the shipping hub. Alright, here we go. You know, I think for this one we'll use the Cutlass. And I must say, as of now, the Cutlass Black is by far my favorite ship in the game. I wouldn't say it's really suited for just one person. I'd probably advise having at least two crew members, because there is a turret on the top. And I've actually had a few occurrences where a stowaway has somehow managed to sneak on my ship without me knowing. So yeah. Just a little side note, you may want to bring some extra crew members for some extra security. But yeah, it's a rather big ship, I must say. I think it was on the medium sized list. And if you're familiar with any of the others, the Hornet would be a smaller ship, and then something like the Constellation would be on the larger side of things. But yeah, it's pretty nice on the inside. It definitely can take a beating. But as you can see, we have a couple beds here. And I'm sad to admit it, but this is my toilet. Yeah, it's really not the most comfortable thing in the world, but I can manage. And then there's also this little thing on the ground, which I presume is to kind of load and unload cargo. But in the future, I have heard they're going to make it a little bit different, so pretty much the whole floor drops down, which would indeed make things a lot easier. And like I said, there is a turret, which happens to be right there. As for us, though, we'll make our way up to the cockpit. All right, here we go. Hello and welcome aboard your Drake Interplanetary Craft. Your systems are online. And you know, I've been wondering, because I know you can do manual landing and automatic landing. I'm not sure if there's an automatic takeoff. I guess there isn't, is there? Because usually you would press M to do that, but I'm not seeing landing that that's working. So we'll head on out of here. Impact warning. And then if you're playing on a mouse and keyboard, all you do is press B. And that'll bring up all the places you can jump to. And there's where we need to go right there. The Kovalex shipping hub. Quantum drive is now on. Is 
is now off. All right, guys, here we are. Now scanning. And it looks like there are three other players here as well. And by the way, if you're wondering what that is, that would be the planet's moon. This Kovalex shipping hub is currently closed to the public. We apologize for the inconvenience. Yeah, I was about to say, I wouldn't be surprised if we weren't the only ones here. Because sometimes, if your ship gets blown up at one of these places, you can become stranded. Warning. You are trespassing on Kovalex private property. I guess we'll have to ignore that for now. You know, I'm really not too keen on becoming a marauder, but I just realized there are four of us, and only one's gonna get paid. So I'm afraid I'm gonna have to take him out. Contact. Sounds like someone's shooting us from behind, though. Contact. And by the way, if you didn't notice, those blue lasers that I'm firing, those are sucker punch cannons, and they basically immobilize the enemy. So once we hit them with those, they're pretty much done for. But like I said, I thought I heard someone shoot us from behind. They definitely weren't inside their ship. So maybe there was another crew member who escaped the Freelancer? I'm not sure where he could be, because it sounds like he's shooting us from the outside, but... Your front shield is hit. He might be hiding inside the station. And chances are, he's going to try to breach from the backside. So we'll have to be ready. But I'll take a look through the front windows, and we'll see if we can spot him. Oh yeah, he just came out of that hole, and he's getting awfully close. You know, I have found that the Cutlass is rather uncommon, so most people don't know about the side entrance. That being the case, we should be able to flank him. Man, we are going to be wanted by everybody after we're done here. Yeah, something's telling me we should get inside as quickly as possible. I just hope we're going to be able to squeeze through here. Yeah, we should be fine. This station is currently off limits. Please vacate the area. All right, what's this? Hey, Dono. It's Rotine over at Corporate Ops. Give me a shout back when you clock in. Just wanted to follow up a bit on the distro issue. Talk to you in a bit. Bye. Dono. Rotine again. Still need to sync up about the power distribution problem. Where are you, man? Getting tired of waiting, there now. Call me. Okay, so that was a journal entry? And if you guys remember, Darnell was that lady's husband. So 
so he obviously had something to do with this. But we still need to find out more, if we can. Oh yeah, that door's open. If you guys can hear all that, though, in the background, someone else is definitely here again. But in a place like this, it's going to be pretty damn tough for them to find us. I can almost guarantee that. Oh, here's another one. Hey, babe, I just got the package you sent. Thanks a million for the Moby Mod. It is incredible. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. The crew surprised me with a shit dig. <laughs> Alright, so not only was he involved, but it sounds to me like he may have been intoxicated. But if you guys saw that back there, that was indeed another journal entry. But it was on the other side of that window. So we're going to have to find another way around there. I just hope this is it. Oh, and is this one more down here? It's gotta be. Hey, Ray, and Starnell. <laughs> Where the hell have you been? Your shift started three hours ago. I know. Sorry. I did a breakdown of the current power flow for the station, and it's looking like I'll need to run a stress test on the whole system. See where the runoff is. Yeah, he really did not sound too good. But if we want to, we can upload the evidence right now. I really do want to grab that last entry, though. I'm just not exactly sure how we can get in there. So maybe for now, we'll upload what we have and see what happens. Well, unfortunately, her husband was at fault, but at least we're getting paid, right? So you know what? I'm going to try to sneak back into our ship, and if I can somehow manage to do that, I'll fly us back to Port Alazar, and we'll try to get rid of any bounties we have on our head. Alright, guys. Well, we are almost out, but I gotta say... A lot of the places I've seen so far in this game really remind me a lot of Alien Isolation. I mean, some of these areas are pretty damn creepy. And I'll be the first to admit, they'll get your heart racing sometimes. 
I should probably just be thankful there's not some kind of alien that's going to pop out and get us. Although I'm sure in the future, they'll have something like that. Yeah, it would be nice to have a flashlight right now as well. Although then again, that could be bad. Because I think in a situation like this, we really want to stay as hidden as possible. At least until we can get back in our ship. Oh man. Yeah, that's it right there, and by the looks of it, we're not flying back in that thing. So I guess for now, I'll fly around and hopefully we can stumble across some kind of a salvage ship. And I should probably look for a med pack somewhere around here as well. Maybe some more ammo. So I will see you guys if and when that happens. All right, guys, I'm not sure if you can see, but that there is a Vanguard Warden. Yeah, as scary as it may be, it almost seems like this thing knows we're here and may be trying to hunt us down. There it is. Yeah, I think for now we may want to just stick to the shadows. For some reason, guys, the vanguard got spooked and took off. But now we have another problem. Wow. An aurora came in and took him out. That's a nice surprise. Well, guys, I'll be honest, I was beginning to lose hope, because I hadn't heard anything in a while, but I was down near the bottom end of the station, and it sounded like there was some kind of battle going on up here. Not sure where everyone went, though. Oh, wait a minute. There's that Aurora. Looks like it landed. Uh oh, there's the other guy. He could just be circling around, though. Which means the pilot of this Aurora is either dead or made a very narrow escape. Either way, though, it should be ours for the taking. Here we go. Yeah, I just hope this thing works. Because as soon as we get in, that hornet's going to know we're here. And chances are, he'll attack. System critical. Stand by for shields. Alright guys, this is going to be rough. But here we go. Oh man. I'm pretty sure that hornet's right on our ass. I guess I'll see you guys at Crusader. Quantum drive is now Wish me luck.